Okay, there it is. So let's make a last minute appearance. And it's gone again. No. Oh, or we might be able to just see it very faintly. Possibly. Potentially. Dad, it's frozen. Disconnect here, I should be back on now. it off now because it's this is actually making it a lot brighter than it is it's very dark right now and i don't know if you can hear lots of cheering from somewhere i guess there's a eclipse party but ah oh, there it is it's totally not representing it and i'm not going to see it bright enough without the no. okay so can actually see it now in the sky but this is the most terrible phone that Apple have ever made so you get to see it very bright and I'm seeing what is probably a late evening dark sky and I can see the um, full totality picture which yep that is full and that should last about three or four minutes and 20% left on my phone battery. That's great, thanks Apple. Another ingenious move. Okay, and I'm not gonna blind everybody. This is actually probably one of the worst images I've ever captured based on what I am personally seeing, which is quite a treat. So if you can have another tab open, it is pretty cool. It's uh, something I'll probably never see again, to be honest, if they're so rare being in the path of totality. But uh, let me see if turning the camera around is the front facing camera. It's almost totally black, the outside filter around it. Um, so if you can have any other options open, at the BBC website in another tab where you can see it better then I would recommend you do that because it's uh, quite a sight to behold even with the wisps of cloud that keep moving across it yeah it's almost like a special effect in a film um, I don't know if any mods are still on I don't know if you're on um, in if you're able to snooze the ads but yeah it's very looking around now this is how dark it's getting it's like going out in the street and right before the um, street lights turn on it's kind of how dark it's getting good to see you Andy and Wolfpack I'll come on in birds go quiet yeah Again, it's not doing it justice, you can't even see the, um, yeah, if you can see footage or an Arduino, I can see a bright orange dot on the outside as well, I'm sure that's probably normal. But you've got like the starburst effect all the way around it, and then there's a very bright orange dot, as I look at it, probably about five. Dallas is almost there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dallas is about three hours north of me. Okay. Yeah, I doubt you're going to see that even with the forward-facing camera. Um, but yeah, as Nerdwino will attest, this is probably like one of the worst images that he's probably ever seen. And now it's passing again and it's getting lighter. So um, I probably don't want to be blinding you again. So. Alright, 
and now it's working its way back the other way, so it's probably about 98% now. And it's starting to get lighter again. So yeah, it's definitely probably no longer than three or four minutes that it was completely dark. And then it started getting light again. It's quite bizarre really. I expect it to get dark in the middle of the day and then get light again. Could be a super bright prominence. Okay, yeah, because it was like a very tiny dot at 5 p.m. on the clock. Um, and then I started right before it almost blinded me when it came out of it. Um, I did notice that there were a few more joining it, like spreading out from where the original was. So. Okay, I guess we hit ads anyway, so apologies, there's nobody around to cancel those and I can't do it, I don't believe, from the mobile app. When you said I thought it would be darker, I guess you were not at totality. That's exactly why, because I thought, okay, well, it looks like it's a bit overcast of an evening, and uh, I thought that was as dark as it was going to get, and then suddenly it's like, whoa, hello, okay, all right, yep, it's dark. And Arduino was right all along as he usually is, because he speaks about science and not magic. So if you want more science and spacey facts rather than misinformation, you should totally go somewhere where, to a stream where someone is qualified to speak on such things and not some of these um, other streamers mentioning no names, where they're not really qualified but somehow they still have massives, masses of people following them without really knowing what they're talking about. And now I'm not talking about me. It was pretty dark, they had light pollution from everywhere. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, we notice when we go on road trips and we come back at night, always a lot of light pollution in the sky, especially when there's low cloud. Um, so as far as astral photography goes you really kind of have to go out of town so you get the least amount of light pollution okay well i'm gonna have nerdwino call it and because he's he can he's watching it on a screen i presume and not a phone do you think there's any point continuing from here nerdwino or as far as this stream goes should we call it a day? I mean, we're going to get the reverse of what we saw now. I'm just not sure how good it's going to be from this image. Because looking at my phone, it just looks like a orange sun again. Just a tiny orange ball. School was closed for this. Yep, that whole four minutes, all the school was closed for. And, you know, that disaster declaration because the internet's going down apparently. And, yeah, the world might very nearly end. So, unless Nerdwino jumps in and says, no, no, keep it streaming, I'm probably going to call it a day because if I look through my stream glasses, I can probably see it's about 97% exposed, but this poor image from this poor phone, I think the chat is great if you want to keep streaming, but Eclipse-wise, you've seen the best bit. This is true, yeah. It's the end of the world as we know it. All right, Dukasoft? So, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do at this point is call it a day because, you know, we could spend another 20 minutes just watching this not really change because the phone is awful. Um, or I could end this stream and start getting ready for my normal stream and head back inside, which I'm probably going to do. So, thanks everybody for stopping by today. Thank you for the resubs. I apologise mostly to Nerdwino who was uh, looking forward to this almost as much as I was and I feel like it's been a, a bit of a letdown but there we go. I personally did get to see it um, with my Eclipse glasses so thank you to Minigamey for bringing those out to me. Thank you to Mrs Bitgamey for providing them and um, thanks for letting you make it. No, no problem. Duke us off. Thanks for stopping by, Entropic. Um, 
of the images, but yeah, it's definitely been an experience me the distances I did to see it because it is quite the spectacle. Just in dream.